2007, the English newspaper The Daily Mail published an article called Secret Plan to Turn Us All Veggie. And I quote, Secret plans to encourage the nation to give up eating meat are being examined by the government to help save the planet. A leaked email expresses sympathy for the environmental benefits of a mass switch to a vegan diet. That's interesting. How much could reduced meat eating contribute to carbon savings? Together with the Free University Amsterdam, the Nicholas G. Pearson Foundation set out to discover what kind of carbon savings could be made in the US if they all went without meat for one or more days. And this is the result. If all Americans ate vegetarian for seven days, they would save around 700 megatons of greenhouse gas emissions. That would be just the same as taking all the cars in America off the roads. Every single car. If everyone in America didn't eat meat for six days a week, this would make the same carbon savings as eliminating the total electricity use of all households in the States. This would result in carbon savings equivalent to planting 13 billion trees in your garden and letting them grow for 10 years. That's 43 trees for every American. This would result in carbon savings equivalent to halving the domestic use of all electricity, gas, oil, petroleum and kerosene in the United States. If all Americans cut out meat for three days, they would save almost 300 megatons of greenhouse gas emissions. This would have a greater impact on reducing global warming than if all cars in the US were replaced with Toyota Priuses. This would have the same positive effect on reducing greenhouse gases as replacing all household appliances like fridges, freezers, microwave ovens, dishwashers, washing machines, tumble dryers, and so on and so forth. And I mean replacing all appliances with energy efficient ones. Wouldn't that be great? What do you think? Would cutting out meat for just one day really have any effect? Well, I was flabbergasted with the result. If all Americans didn't eat meat for just one day a week, this would save 90 million plane tickets from New York to LA or from LA to New York. 90 million tickets each year just by eating no meat for just one day a week. You see, You see, a small step for a man is a giant leap for humanity and all living creatures. And you don't have to wait. You can start today with your own tasty and simple solution to the climate problem. The question we have to ask ourselves is simply, how many days a week shall I go without meat to reduce global warming? I think it would help, if, especially if they did one day a week. I think that makes a huge difference. It makes a huge difference not only for the environment, but for the animals themselves, and then for our bodies. Not only think it would help what you're talking about, but I think it would help the karma also. <laughs> Greenhouse gas is a really important thing. Global warming is really important. But does anybody ever talk about the amount of water it takes? There's so much waste. And I think if more people were aware of that, they would, make, they would make the choice because it's a very easy thing to do. It's a very easy choice to make to just skip meat for a day, one day a week, you know, and then one day becomes two days, and then two days becomes three days, and gradually it, it can make a significant, significant impact. Absolutely. Being a vegetarian uses one-tenth the resources than eating meat does, so obviously it would help, you know, perpetuate human life on Earth that everyone did. Hopefully it all turns around. I think it's the missing, it definitely was the missing part of the inconvenient truth. Animals are suffering, people are suffering, I mean, it, it, we need to do something quickly. You know, you can't be a meat eater and call yourself an environmentalist. You can get a lot of protein from peanuts. I was raised in Canada, meat and potatoes. I never was a big meat eater my whole life, but you're raised that way and it's really hard to, to switch gears. So um, 
I think when people just do, do the best they can. You should all eat less animals, or maybe just none. I think that would make a tremendous difference. You don't have to go 100% vegetarian, but we don't have to just have this mass gorging of meat that happens, especially in the United States of America. Yes, I, I don't expect everyone on the planet to give up all meat. I think that's unrealistic. Uh, but I do think we could get people to understand that meat shouldn't be something they have for their own health. <laughs> on as regular a basis as, as they do have it. People don't think twice when they eat meat. People don't think twice the way their meat is manufactured. People don't think twice about those factory farming practices because it's not as close to them. But yet, if you're driving in a car, an SUV that may be much bigger and is not a hybrid, possibly like your car, is something that you can pick on. It's an easy thing to pick on, but we need to start picking on ourselves and we need to start picking carefully what we eat, how we eat, when we eat it, where we get it from. We need to do the research and do the work to find those things out and make ourselves smarter. So if we're gonna talk about SUVs and car emissions, we can also be smart enough to find out where most of those emissions are actually coming from. Right.